Welcome, this is going to be my video on how to make movies on your computer, such as RuneScape videos or World of Warcraft videos. Uh, it's pretty simple and I'm going to show you. Okay, the first step in making a video on your computer, whether it's RuneScape, uh, World of Warcraft, or any other program that you want to show, the first step is getting a screen recorder or hypercam. Uh, I started with hypercam. Uh, simply just go to Google and type in hypercam and hit Google search. Okay, the first link that came up was Hyperonics or something like that. Uh, that's the one that uh, I used for my first screen recorder. So simply click on it. The site should look something similar to this. Um, go over to the left side and under Hypercam, click download. Okay, Hypercam is free to use, uh, but you can buy it. Uh, the difference between the free to use and actually buying it is uh, features and uh, at the top left corner it will say unregistered hypercam if you did not buy it. Uh, once you buy it, it will go away. Um, so anyway, hit server 1 US. Okay, once you click server 1 US, a pop-up like this should appear. Um, make sure it is from the same website you are downloading from, or one that is similar to it. Um, before you download any files, I suggest having an antivirus program, um, or your could be at risk. Um, anyway, uh, click save. The screen uh, should pop up to ask you where you want to save it to and what name you want to save it under. So uh, once you like the name and you like where it's saved at, uh, click save. It will begin to download and once it's downloaded, uh, open the folder. Once you've successfully downloaded it and you open the folder, uh, find the program and if you do have an antivirus program, I suggest right clicking on the program and click scan. Uh, it should be an option. If not, open your uh, antivirus program and scan it just to make sure. Uh, Norton says there are no viruses and I know it has no viruses because I've used it before. Anyway, uh, double click on it. It will ask you, are you sure you want to open this file? Click run. Click continue. This program will install Hypercam. No, 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 no. Read the license and agreement accept and next. Uh, I would not change the location of where it's at. It has installed. Once you have installed the program, you open it either by clicking on the desktop icon or finding it under start all programs Hypercam 2. The first time you open it, it will ask you to register it. Uh, this is not necessarily necessary unless you are buying it. If you are buying it, click on the license tab and fill out the information and hit enter license now. Or you can purchase one later if you want to use it. Um, there are various options on uh, Hypercam. Uh, hotkeys to start it and stop it, pretty basic, F2 to start recording and also F2 to stop it. That's pretty much the only one you really have to worry about. Um, it saves it as an AVI file. Uh, you can change the location where it's saved by clicking the browse button or if 
you uh, don't know where it's saving them at, you can click the browse button and find that out. Um, this is a cool feature, add sequence number to a file, meaning uh, if you're taking, uh, say you're at Bounty Hunter and you're taking video and you stop the video and then start it again, it will automatically put like 0 2 at the end of the next video. That way it doesn't save over using the same name. So you can film like six different videos without having to change the name of the video, if that makes sense to you. Okay. Um, the frame rates, uh, I want to change them. Uh, the higher the frame rate, the lower the quality your computer will run at. Uh, the lower the frame rate, uh, the better your computer will run. So if you're having lag problems, uh, try turning down the frames per second, but it will also cut down the quality of your video. Uh, sound options, you can su record sound. Um, not too important because you usually put music, which I'll show later. Um, the other options are just kind of cool features, not really necessary. Okay, but you're probably wondering how do I use this thing. Uh, you can either select the window or select region. I believe region is the best and that's how most people do it. Uh, simply all you do is select the region. A pointer thing will come up like this and then you put it over what you want to record. So say I want to record that. Then it pops back up. Now to start recording you can either use the hotkey or you can hit start record. Uh, the outline of the red box shows that that area inside the box is being recorded. Uh, everything outside isn't. So to stop the recording you can either go down on your toolbar and click it back open and hit stop recording but then you have this and you have to edit it out. Or you can just simply press F2 and stop it and it pops back up. Um, it's pretty nifty and that's pretty much all you really need to know about uh, Hypercam. I suggest not changing any of the defaults because uh, it could change the quality or change how good your computer runs it. Um, that's pretty much how you run Hypercam. Okay, a quick review. Say uh, you want to record yourself playing RuneScape. Uh, simply open Hypercam, select the region, put it over RuneScape, and then hit F2 to start recording. The red box appears and it will record you logging in, say. And that's pretty much it. The problem with running Hypercam though, while you're playing games especially, is if you do not have that great of a computer, it will lag you uh, worse than you normally do lag. So that is a problem. I suggest running Hypercam a few times before you try it in BH or and it lags worse with WoW. So for you WoW users out there, it does lag. So just telling you. Okay, now that you have your uh, footage, it's time to edit it and make it into a movie. The editing program that I use is Windows Movie Maker. Uh, it is found pretty much on any Windows computer, uh, XP or higher, uh, I think, I'm not sure if 98 has it. Anyway, uh, it's pretty easy. Uh, all you have to do is uh, insert some clips down here, add some music, and then publish it to your computer, and it saves it as a movie file. 